Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is about times when sin went viral among Knets and locals. I hope you guys enjoy the video and if you'd like a part 2, you can go ahead and leave a comment. <laughs> This video gained a lot of views on Hello82's channel with people in the comment section asking who he was and which group. It was later posted on the Fact Holes YouTube channel and got an insane amount of 6.6 .6 million views in just 5 days. <laughs> Sans I'm sick and tired of it in the thanks song went viral amongst non 18 es with people quoting it on a daily basis. <laughs> Hurting. San again went viral for his eye smile, and Korea Boo had to make a post about it. The post said, on February 12th, some of the members of 80s returned to South Korea after they completed their American leg of their world tour, the fellowship, beginning of the end. Among those members was San, and his arrival at the Incheon airport brought some attention to him due to how adorable he was. <laughs> 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 During a teases fireworks era, San again went viral for his crop top, abs and jawline in the music video. He had most of his fan cams go viral on TikTok and Twitter. San gained a lot of attention and many locals kept asking who he was. <laughs> Now we cannot talk about a viral video of San without including his Hala Hala era, which gave him his most viewed phantom sitting at 1.3 million views. Hala Hala era was the era which introduced Stan as a stage genius, as one of the idols with the best stage presence. San received a title as the man who would raise the standard of K-pop with his stage presence. A lot of people were surprised and impressed at how San was still a rookie when he pulled that off. Not to mention the numerous number of microphones this young man broke during this era. Ateez as San went viral for supporting feminism, and Ateenies were so proud. Despite potential backlash from anti-feminists, San was brave in making his stance on the matter. Recently, South Korean Olympic archer and San received backlash after there were suspicions of her being a feminist, with male community and anti-feminist sites attacking her for what most would probably argue are absurd reasons. 
The main reasons seemed to be that, when a netizen asked her why she kept her hair short, she answered simply, because it's comfortable. According to people on these male community sites, short hair is a sign of feminism. Along with this, the fact that she goes to an all-women's college, is a fan of Mamamoo, and wears badges commemorating the Saywall ferry accident. Another reason these netizens suspect her feminist views are her use of the words Ojo Oyuk and Ung Ung which, although originally without feminist connotations, are now associated with the feminist movement even though they're used widely among Korean teens in general. Atiza's Sen also indirectly brought up the situation and showed his support for the athlete as well. Using the messaging system on the app Universe, Sen spoke about how he likes short hair, having just recently cut his own and also used the so-called misandrous term in his messages as well. While this could seem just like a coincidence to some people, his actions have Korean netizens talking, making it obvious that they knew what he was implying with his choice of words. Although his support might also not seem like a huge deal to some people, in a more conservative nation such as South Korea, feminism is still considered quite radical and often a men-hating movement, and anyone is at some risk of being attacked when speaking up about such things. Taking into consideration that San is also an idol, it's especially brave of him to support a cause in this manner. Turn them to a game Take the best thoughts saying Put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no more pain uh. Never slow yourself down You can do some more Push past start the pain And you'll find the door Open it up And find Hurting.